and very light winds. As that one misses down and in. Important it is for Purdue to get a good start from Backer. But just as we say that, Keaton Anthony sends one shooting up the middle for a solid two out single. And since he's had that injury. Well, he sends this to center field, and all three outs are going to be via Washington and center field. A two out single, but nothing else as we head to the home half. And this one hit down the left field line. Drifting back is Peterson. That ball is gone. Cleanup hitter Troy Viola. A solo jack to left, and Purdue strikes first. It's one to nothing. Yeah, Troy Viola doing a nice job just staying on that pitch, stays inside the baseball with the hands, and puts a nice swing on that and crushes that ball out of the ballpark to get the first run of the game for Purdue. And you can see, I mean, that pitch is just left out over the plate from Dylan Nedved, and Viola capitalizes on the mistake. The only question, would it stay fair? And it did. As Peterson ran out of room. On the carpet, that one eats up Albrecht. Well, he's a little dinged up as Albrecht. That came up and got him. Mm. 16 and two-thirds innings to the Hawkeyes. There's the butt laid down. Oh, high throw, but Hal takes it. Successful sacrifice, so Cade Moss. Will miss grounder off the glove of Viola, and everybody's going to be safe. Heads up base running by Peterson. He gets to third. That'll be scored a single. So two infield singles and a sack bunt as Iowa's trying to manufacture some offense. 2-1 from C.J. Backer, and this one does get away from Ramirez and far enough to tie the ball again. Peterson comes home, one to one. I tell you what, that, that's good base running again by Sam Peterson. Does a nice job on that because it, it's not a ball that goes past the catcher, but he gets a good lead, a good secondary. He's anticipating bunt, so he's he's already getting out there to the good secondary. Again, that's not even a ball in the dirt, right? So he does a nice job of reading that baseball and get line drive, base hit. Now, Wilmis held a second before he took off, so he will not be able to score, but they're at the corners with one away. See if he tries it again here, 1-1. One, one. He does. Lays it down beautifully. They try to come home, but late. Wilmis slides in ahead of the tag from Ramirez, and Iowa takes the lead. And I tell you what, I mean, that is a perfectly executed bunt. Good pace to it. If he bunts that much harder, they're going to make the play at the plate. And that's where I like the call with first and third and one out and laying down that, that safety squeeze. You that one hits him. So they are loaded up. And you got the Big Ten freshman of the year strolling to the dish. Got him. Huge strikeout for the southpaw as one of the toughest outs in the Big Ten goes down swinging. Now coming home and getting home is Kyle Huxdorf. It's three to one. So a pass ball plated one there, a wild pitch by Wansing. And Iowa leads it by two. And I love the base running by Iowa this inning. They've been aggressive. I mean, I don't know if that ball even gets, as I say, if it gets out of the dirt, it's just barely maybe a step out of the, the dirt area around home plate. And just even better base running by Iowa. Swing and a miss. So Wansing does get Fillard, but the damage is done. Still a little scratch across a few runs. Line drive, base hit, right center. Albrecht runs well, makes a big turn, but he'll put on the brakes. This is in a single season. Albrecht not going. This one lifted, pretty well hit, right center. And that one is going to one hop over the wall. That's going to be a ground rule double. And that's going to be a break. Well, at least for right now, they're letting the runners go around. 
But that clearly bounced up and over the wall and off the railing and came back. That's going to be a break for Iowa because Albrecht was going to score all the way. A couple of seasons. And now grounding this off the glove of Nedved out to short, so that will get a run home. Albrecht scores. You also get how 0 2 pitch to him. Down he goes. Nedved settles down, and Iowa maintains the lead. But and he earns a walk. Popping it up that direction. This time he does lay it down, and beautifully. Well, that's a nice play by Wansing with a glove flip. Line drive, fair ball, right on the chalk. Frazier cruises in. Iowa leads 4-2. And who says small ball's dying, right? I love how Iowa's manufacturing runs. They get the leadoff runner on, sack him to second. And then a nice job by Moss getting a, a breaker out over the plate. He's able to drive down the left field line for the RBI double. First extra base hit for the Hawkeyes. See how frustrated Viola was over there at the third base bag. Ground ball and stopped at first by Howe. Steps on the bag side, retired. Change your looks, how you're attacking hitters. Weak liner, but because they were shifting to the left side, Fillard had vacated that spot and that and this one out to left center and it's going to find the gap a little soft liner really good had the 3-1 lead and here a base hit to left off the bat at Thompson and that is going to plate CJ Valdez and Purdue is right back within one here on the Thompson RBI single yeah, I'm going to throw a little bit offline. Kate Moss does a nice job laying out for that ball to prevent the runners from taking extra bases. But Cam Thompson, like you said, gets a pitch he can handle, drives it into left field for a big two-out base hit. One and two. Grounder to third, and it eats up Willemus. Gets into left, and this ball game is tied. Albrecht slides into second. It looks so innocent, but innocent it was not. Yeah, we've seen small ball. We've seen little things play a part in this game. And really for Wilmus, if there's nobody on, you have to attack that ball like he does, right? And, and try and get it on the hop, see what you can do. But in that situation with runners on first and second and two outs, even if you don't end up getting that at first, just keeping that ball in the infield, getting a body on it, keeping it in front of you. Trust that the catcher's going to block it. Ground ball toward the middle. Backhanded by Fillard and makes the throw to first. So that Purdue cannot get any more runs. There he's now over 90 pitches. Line drive. And it bounces in front of Peterson. Lead off single for Steve Ramirez. This one down the left field line, and that ball is off the base of the wall. They get it back in in a hurry, though, and are able to keep Powers at third base. Good job by Peterson and left. Two pitch to him. Called strike. Looked like he was leaning in his shoulder. Maybe try to get hit by the pitch. Instead, he's rung up, and the side is retired. And taken all the way. And it missed. Strike zone, so anything above it, he can spit on it. And right now he can walk down to lay down this bunt. And he does it. Will they go to third? Yes, and they get the lead runner. Lines fielding his position, getting Fillard at third. Go ahead run here, the 8-2-2 pitch. That is a strike, no doubt, at the knees. Moss is gone. Hitter, that leads the Hawkeyes club. Bouncer gets away from Ramirez, and the runners are going to move up 90 feet. Payoff pitch. Got him. Look at Landon Wines. You want to talk about fired up.
disturbed, so you won't you won't hear from me. One, two, got him. Christofferson, one, two, three, bottom of the eighth. The wine, he wants to get going in a hurry. Line drive, center field, base hit. That might slow him down. Seegers represents the go-ahead run at first with one away. Big cut. Foul ground, long run. Oh, he made the catch! Oh my goodness! Evan Albrecht. Now tagging and going to second, Michael Seegers. That could be important, but what a play by the senior shortstop of the Purdue Boilermakers. On top of the tarp. Wow. Are you kidding me with that? I mean, now here comes the 0-2. Ground ball through. Around third comes Seegers, and Iowa takes the lead in the top of the ninth. Isaiah Fillard busts out of his slump and delivers what could be the game winner. And that's a big time two out, two strike base hit for Isaiah Fillard. We get another look and he goes with a fastball there from Isaiah Fillard. Swing and a miss, that'll do it. But Isaiah Fillard. One, two, popped up. Coming over is Peterson and he will take it. Couple of sides, Christofferson deals, got him. Called strike three, Hawkeyes one out away. The one-two pitch, got it, ball game over. Iowa's hope still alive as they knock Purdue out of the Big Ten tournament. Thank <laughs> you.